Hey guys, this is Matt Kids and on. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the listings of a directory through your application and how to display it in an NS table view. NS table view in the Mac is very similar to UI table view on the iPhone, except that it has a very um, subtle difference to it. Um, so if you've done C before, you know that getting the contents or listing of a directory isn't that simple. But in Objective-C, doing it is just one line away. So I'm going to go into Xcode. I'm going to just demonstrate how to get the listings of a directory by making a terminal application that does it. So I'm going to go to Command Line Utility Foundation Tool, and I'm going to make a new project called Lister. And Lister is just going to have a lister.m, and that's where we're going to put our simple code to list the directory. So in here, we're going to declare a new NS array. I'll just call it listings. And we're going to assign it to be NS file manager, default manager, directory contents and path, slash, and then, so that slash is the path, it's just the root directory. And then we're going to declare an int i. We're just going to say for i equals zero, i less than listings count i plus plus and here's where we're going to ns log i basically listings object and index i and so here we go if I look into the console run this it's gonna print us every single thing in slash including hidden files so as you see there by that little project it's a terminal application, it's very easy to get listings in the directory. But how do we basically put it into a great GUI application? I'm just going to create a new project that's going to be an application, Cocoa application, and I'm going to call it List Der GUI or GUI. So now under classes, I'm going to make a new file, Cocoa, Objective C class, and I'll call it App Controller. And this is what I'm going to be using to talk to my interface builder. And so under this, um, in the interface, we're going to add an IB outlet and for an NS table view. And I'll call it table view one. We're going to have an IB outlet for an NS text field. And I'll call it text field one. And I'll have an NS readable array which I will call array one. And so table view one is going to be our table view that has a list of every um, file in the path. Text field one is going to be where the user types the path. And then NS mutable array, array one, is going to be what has the contents of the current directory. Then we're going to add one IB action, and that will be list directory link ID sender. So I'll just put this in the implementation down here, so that way we can do this. So first of all, this is a lot different than you might think it would work. It's not as simple as, say, table view one, set objects, or table view one, add object, remove object, stuff like that. You have to do something similar to a delegate with table view one called a data source. And when you set the data source on table view one, it looks for certain methods in its data source. For instance, it will look for this method in its data source. It will look for a number of rows in table view. So in this case, we're going to return array one count because we want the contents of this table view to be whatever in array one. So this is how it knows how much stuff is in the table view and how much stuff to look for. And then it's going to look for another method, not so short and sweet, called basically object value for table column. And this is it asking what's at this place in the table view. And so all we have to return here is I'm going to cast it to be an NS string array one object index row because we're giving it whatever's in array one. So this is also very easy. And now in our awake from nib, we're going to set the data source of table view one to be self. 
so that way it looks here for all of them. So now we have it hooked up so whenever it gets reloaded it'll look in array 1 for all its object. And to refresh it you just say reload data right there. And that'll just make it try reloading data in this case based on array 1. So we're going to call that at the bottom of when they click um, this directory. So first of all we're going to remove all the objects that are already in our array 1 and we're going to auto release array 1 just the memory management thing and now we're going to set array 1 to be the directory listing or the new directory listings of um, what they're trying to look at so say array 1 equals ns mutable array alloc init with array and here's where you can say ns file manager default manager directory contents at path and now I'll say text field 1 string value so that's easy so now array 1 will be the listings of the directory the reason we don't just assign it to be ns file manager etc is because that returns a regular array but array 1 in this case is an ns mutable array not just an ns array so that's the distinguishable difference and now we're going to do the table view one reload so that's it so now if we just go in and edit the simple interface we're practically done so the interface is pretty straightforward it has a button text field and the table view I believe is way up here and so if I put this all together, it'll actually be a pretty cool um, application. So there we go. I will set it to have one column. And I'll kind of drag this one over here and get rid of that. And so now all we have to do is drag over our friendly blue object and link it all up. So we're going to call this app controller. We're going to link app controller with this. We're going to link app controller with this. And we're going to link this button to app controller. Now we will be able to run it. Type slash click the button and see what's at slash. You can do the same for slash applications. See what's in there. So this is how to get the listings of a directory and put it in an NS table view. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, please ask us questions. Anyway, thanks for watching MacHeads101. Expect great things and goodbye.